Hi everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and welcome to the recap of the December 2019 Chemnitz Dialogue Livestream. Last year, I looked at this beautiful image of a winter sparkly pine cone and decided to pull from it all of these colors of deep greens and hints of black and deep brown, some subtle mauves and purples, uh, maybe a little bit of ecru and some teals. I thought that this was a very fun colorway and was a really nice nod to winter holidays without being explicit and also being different from the colorways that I was creating for the 2019 Chemnitz Hanukkah special. I'm really starting to enjoy swatching with crayon or colored pencils to help me it helps me in these live streams because I can't always be looking at the photo while I'm mixing up colors and it gives me something physical to compare it to. And so then when I went and mixed colors with acid dyes, you could see that we hit some of these tones really, really nicely. Some warm brownish purples, lavender, not quite black, um, and some greens and teals. And I was very excited to layer these colors on top of one another. Now these swatches right here are the colors that I mixed at the dilutions that I mixed them. And I'm glad I saved it because I can prove that I did add pink and purple to the pan. Like proof, right? That's pink and purple right there. I'm gonna throw up some pictures of the yarn in the pan. You can see those purple notes in there. But when we come look at the finished official yarn, you might go, Rebecca, where's the purple? Honestly, even some of this teal color isn't really showing up the same way. We really get a lot of this green and sort of blackish color, but the purple notes and the more blue notes feel almost like they've disappeared. Zooming in, you see purple here and there's purple here. Like the purple is there, but I think something about the yarn base that we used sort of toned those purples in a way that made it even more subtle than what I thought I was gonna achieve from when I added the colors to the pan. I did two versions of this colorway and I think I used up all of those purple colors that I mixed, but where are they on this yarn? Honestly, so the, the yarn is the Dyer Supplier Silvery Sock Base, which I believe is 60% Superwash Merino, 20% nylon, 20% stellina, and it's beautiful, high shine, high sparkle. And I wanted something ultra sparkly to evoke the glitter that you can kind of see in the inspiration photo. But what happened to the purple? There is so much stellina in here that the silvery sock yarn has almost a grayish undertone to it even though there is the normal ecru undyed wool in there. There are some hints of the purple that you can see that remain in all of the skeins, but I think that the purple almost toned the base of the yarn. Or maybe the purple was so subtle with the gray uh, that it sort of just came together. Nevertheless, we've got stunning, stunning colorways here that do feel wintry and full of holiday spirit, and I really, really do like them. Uh, it's just different from what you might see in the photo. One thing I really want to add at this point is that these dialogue live streams are my interpretation of the photo with the colors and techniques that I choose that represents it to me. And many of you might do something completely different, and that's totally fine. Um, but, you know, a lot of times people will be like, where's that purple? Add more purple, add more purple. And part of what I do is I go with my vision and sometimes things work, sometimes they don't end up working perfectly. And if, I mean, I'll be honest, if it weren't right about when Hanukkah was about to start and so I was in the weeds with a lot of editing, maybe I would have done a second live stream to try to get a little closer to what my original vision was from what I swatched even with the crayons and the colors that I mixed. Maybe I would have switched a, to a different yarn base to try to get these colors and the lavender hues to pop a little more. But yeah, again, there's no wrong colorway. And I think that you'll see from the yarns that I select that you guys dyed and you submitted that not everything is a perfect, complete match for the photo. 
What is important with this is that we're challenging ourselves to maybe go outside of our normal color comfort zone to play with things and look at colors and color combinations a little differently. And so that is the ultimate goal of these dialogues. I'm still perplexed about the purple sort of disappearing because a lot of times when I quote swatch, so the paler one I started off with just doing a little bit of the colors to see if I needed to shift the tones or anything a little bit to see if I was happy with where the colors were. And I felt happy. So it was really more as the yarn dried that you didn't really see that purple anymore. But we did have some dyes left over, our more green hue and some of that black. And this yarn was the Superwash Merino Twist when it was just the Fairforn. Now it's known as Twill, it's high twist, and I love this wintry colorway that we got as we layered all the colors on to leave no dye behind. Now, this one isn't really based on the photo, but I do like to use up all the dye that I mix from these live streams, so that way we make sure that we have some of it. <laughs> Now it is time for my favorite part of these dialogue recaps, where I share some of the photos that you took of the yarn you dyed, inspired by this same wintry pine cone image. Whether or not you went for those purples and that's what you focused on, or you went for more of all the colors that were around the yarn, you guys created some really, really stunning results. And it's always fun to see the similarities and differences when we are all drawing from the same inspiration. But depending on fiber content and dye type that you use, the results can really vary. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I truly hope that you guys enjoy the Chemnitz The Hillong live streams. I know that I have a lot of fun picking out a photo each month for us to explore. If you would like to be featured in a recap from the dialogue, you just have to share the yarn that you dyed based on our inspiration photo on Instagram with the hashtag Chemnitz Dialogue or on the photo with the inspiration photo on the Chemnitz Facebook page. Many of you, if you want to share it with me privately, you can share it in the Chemnitz Lab Facebook group. By default, images shared in the Chemnitz Lab Facebook group will be kept private unless uh, you and I have like a discussion about it outside of that. So there is a way to share your photos with the community and not have them featured if that is what you would like. <laughs> Make sure that you are subscribed and you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss a new video. I release two pre-filmed videos every single week and then we have the monthly live stream and Dipop PS episodes and other things that you really don't want to miss. In January, I am about to dye some yarn inspired by the Northern Lights, by the Aurora Borealis, and I am really, really excited. I have some ideas and we'll see how things come out. Technically that live stream will be done before this recap is out because I'm finishing filming the recap on the morning of that live stream, but hopefully next month uh, I will be in a slightly better rhythm and I can get the recap out more towards the beginning of the month again. If you want to help support all of the content that you see here on the Chemnet Tutorials YouTube channel, there are many ways that you can do that. One big way that you can support the content on the channel is by shopping in the Chemnitz Creations Etsy shop. Most of the yarn that I dye in these videos ends up going through the shop. And so you can buy some yarn, rewatch how I dyed it, and enjoy that additional layer of handmade quality to the materials that you're using with your own hand crafts. If you specifically want some of the yarn from one of the Chemnitz Dialong videos, I do try to tag all that yarn with just Chemnitz Dialong, all one word. So you can search the shop for that and you should uh, come up with things from previous Dialong episodes. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for a theme uh, for the inspiration photo in future months. Um, I, it's always fun. I mean, I have plenty of ideas. I like to look at nature and things a lot but sometimes it's fun to search based on things that you suggest. <laughs> so thank you guys so much.